That, that alone sounded like a fantasy to me. Hello my friends, how are you? Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for hanging out with me. I am trying to do some filming because, and spending time with you guys is honestly what makes me feel better. So I also have some videos that are really backlogged, so I really hope you don't mind. How many times can I say really? Already it's begun. But I really hope you don't mind seeing some videos from March. And uh, you know, let me know in this, whatever one goes up first if you do. Anyway, I have three boxes here that are maybe from the last BoxyCharm pop-up shop thing haul. Still catching up. I've been doing a lot of haul videos, but you know, it's not like I went out and spent all of this money all at once. It's, it's been, it's been time. It's been a little time, my friends. I can just tell you that my eyeshadow has held up extremely well. I'm wearing the new Patrick Ta palette that came out. I'm testing it and it's lasted through a nap and some crying and more nap and then some more crying. So, um, I'll let you know my thoughts on it later, but as far as it's lasting power, mm, pretty good. I gotta say. I don't think this video is going to be as long as my last video that I put up yesterday, my lost Ulta haul, the lost treasure, <laughs> but uh, grab a drink if you want to. I know I certainly am. Anywho, if you are new here, hello, hi. I'm usually a little bit different, but I'm going through some stuff right now, as I know that many of are, so I sympathize, I empathize, and um, hopefully you want to stick around. This first box is a little worse for wear. It kind of fell apart when I went to pick it up. Yeah, it, as you can see. So we'll probably go through that one first. Let me put the rest of these down. This one I haven't even opened yet. So occasionally BoxyCharm has twofers. That means that in the sale, I think usually towards like the latter half when they're getting to close it, it's basically like buy one, get one free and the prices are already ridiculously reduced. So I picked up several of those and where did my glasses? Ow. Oh, here they are. So one of the things I picked up was from Glow Oasis. It wasn't a brand that I heard of. I will try my very best to find the emails, even though they are older, and put up the prices of what I paid versus what the retail is. But this is a pH balancing moisture milk toner with vegan probiotics and prickly pear extract. I love prickly pear in my skincare. And because this is a toner, I'm not washing it off. It is staying on my skin. This is a glass bottle. Very cool. I like the milkiness of it. And it does have a pull tab like this. Get away from me, fly. I'm hoping that I can pop off this thing so I can pop it into one of my pump containers. It just makes it easier. I could not smell anything. That doesn't mean that there isn't a scent. But to get two of them for the price of one, I thought was great so there you go the next two for thing that i got and i think i took one out already did i because i think i have it in my room i don't i don't know but i'm gonna carefully open this one in case this is the one that i bought to give away let's see carefully leanne this is from cab cosmetics it is their day and night palette Okay, the plastic's over it, so I'm not touching it. But yes, I do have mine inside. If my butt wasn't so lazy, I would get up and get it to swatch mine. But I bought this one to put in a giveaway because, again, it was a two for one. All right, I don't even know what this is. It's from Base Blue. Oh, they make sponges that I really like. Um, they usually come in that kind of little diamond plastic looking thing. And this is dry and wet dual action face cleansing wipes individually wrapped cleansing wipes you're getting a 20 count you have the day cleansing wipe which is water active oh okay so you wet it that's usually what water active means and you have the night active no night makeup removing wipe which effectively moves makeup dirt and oil removes not moves whatever anyway this is really cute all right that's <laughs> that's oddly satisfying oh and it slides open like this okay and here are the wipes that's very convenient so this is the wet one i'm guessing you don't have to wet this one and i'm guessing that you do yeah okay this is the one that you run under water i don't know why it's 
That's a pretty simple concept, yet oddly <laughs> difficult for me. Oh, oh no. <laughs> See what happens when I let things sit around? <laughs> I now have three, five of these. This is from Dr. Brand. This is the triple E antioxidant eye cream. I received this in two of my boxes. I accidentally had bought one, not accidentally. I had bought one before. And now I have two more. <laughs> well, honestly, I'll probably put these up on my Poshmark because I'm already giving the other one away that I just got. Sometimes it's a very good eye cream. I'll tell you that. Dr. Brand puts out some excellent things. And these are normally around $90 a piece. I probably paid $14 for both of them. I'm going to put them up at a very discounted price on my Poshmark. Oh, okay, this is from Rowan, and it is their Wow Brow. Rowan shadows are really expensive, and Boxy usually has them at a very discounted price. This just says what color? It is in medium brown. I am so into trying brow products lately. I have so many and it doesn't seem to matter to me. I like the aesthetic very thin. Let's hope the tip is thin. Oh, it has a nice textured spoolie. Yes, it is an extremely thin tip and I love that. It's a little dry and a little rough. I'm hoping that it warms up when I use it on my eyebrows, but it looks like a beautiful color for me. Cool tone brown on the lighter side is most definitely my favorite. I'm so disappointed in the ABH liquid one that I had received that they sent to me. It's not like I purchased it. It said like ebony and it is most definitely black. It is not brown whatsoever, so I really can't use it. And there's one more thing in here. It is from IDAZ and it is, let's see, Dermastic Water Fit Mask, a hydrating mask to replenish the skin with moisture. I love face masks of all types, sheet masks, ones that, well, honestly, sometimes I prefer the sheet mask over the ones that you have to wash off because I'm lazy, but I have no problem admitting that. This provides a truly moisturizing solution for your skin. And it appears that you are getting five in here. Okie dokies. I recently tried a Tony Moly cat eye mask, which is really cute, and it's a jelly type, and it goes across the whole eye area. It actually adhered beautifully, and uh, it kind of left my under eyes quite nice, so if I can find that one, I will uh, list that one below also. That took care of box number one. Now let's go through box number two that I have not even opened yet. So this one might be fairly recent, not the most recent one as in a couple of days ago because this is spring break for me, so it's probably like the second week of April. This April? April. This is probably maybe three weeks old, something like that. So I did order more of these. This is the Grapefruit Verbena the cleansing wipes. I actually really, really like these. <laughs> I had gotten some and I just mentioned in the Ulta video that, you know, it's very interesting when using something scented. It's a, it's an intimate wipe, but um, I have to say they're nice and refreshing and there's no irritation whatsoever. So I do like those and I know I got them for a very good price. Aha! I bought another one of these. I actually liked it. They say anti-cellulite, but you, you don't have cellulite on your chin. Bit, but because I think it might be from another country, that's maybe what they call it. It's from Asamo. It is the V-Line Slim Neck Mask. Do I have any idea if it works? I don't, I don't know. You're supposed to take this, you put on the serum all over here, and then this is a silicone. Is this silicone or was it paper? I think it's paper on the outside and it's got that sticky silicone on the inside. You put it under your chin and you wrap around your ears. It fits moderately okay. It was just fun to use. I said, do I know after one use if it was actually doing anything? No, but it's uh, definitely fun. It firms, tightens, lifts, and shapes the face while you sleep. So yeah, there's that. Okay, this is from Aesthetica and it is their Pro Series Brush Cleanser. 
I love this one. It's one of my empties. This is the Beauty Blender Cleanser. It is my favorite cleanser for both my brushes and my sponges, but it is expensive. So I figured I would try this and see if it has any comparison to that one. I will let you know because I just spent like a day and a half cleaning most of my brushes. I'm not even close to being done yet, but I cleaned a good portion of them. And I said if I can save a little bit of money buying it through here because this is probably you know expensive i'm happy to do that and happy to give it a shot i've heard this being talked about so much that i had to purchase it and i actually just purchased it in the current boxy sales going on because i forgot that i purchased it i do that a lot but this is the one size go off makeup dissolving mist i know i heard that you know this is really good let's see what the mist is like Ooh, it's a very fine mist and it's very oily <laughs> because it just left an oil stain on my on my door here anyway if you guys have tried this let me know it is on the pricey side and you know that when boxy has it it's going to be a good price so yeah and i actually purchased one of these it's from kenzie i know you can get these in tj maxx probably the exact one i had one of these and i can't find it so therefore I purchased another, but it is their Turbo Pour Vacuum. Okay, so I had to pause for a minute to explain this a little bit further. I couldn't put it all in text on the screen. It would have been way too much. When I looked at my receipt, I actually ordered the Lux and Willow Dermasuction Vacuum. And that was $12, but you can get it at Walmart or such for about $12.99 and on eBay for $12.99. The Kenzie one that I received is only sold on eBay, and I'm sure you can also find it in TJ Maxx, and that one is about $12 or less, so this one was definitely not a good deal. So my caveat to you is make sure you're maybe investigating the items before you buy them. That's just about my two cents. I still think it's worth $12, but you know what I mean. This is what it looks like. It appears to come with several different tips, which my other one did as well. The other one I had was much smaller. This is a much larger device. I can tell you it does work, at least the one that I had that I can't, I can't find. This is what it looks like on the back, so you can see the attachments. You're supposed to basically suck the stuff out of your nose. And... And I said it, it, it did work. So I'm going to try this one and let you know. Maybe I'll do a whole video on it. We'll see. See, I told you I didn't get as much stuff. It's, I mean, it's still a lot, but it wasn't as much as the last one. Anyway, this is box number three. Let's see. Okay, I got another set of these because it was the four of them for, I think, five dollars. And these are all closed up, so they will definitely last me until next Christmas. Or if I wanted to give them as gifts throughout any other time of the year, I certainly can. But this is something bloom. I can't read it. That one wouldn't be for me anyway. This one sounds really good. It's honey blossom. Although if it's floral scent, it wouldn't be for me. Blackberry would definitely be for me, that's for sure. And this one is Apple Blossom. I'll probably just save these, as I said, for stockings, considering the fact that they are shrink wrapped, so they're not going to lose their efficacy. I guess I bought a palette. <laughs> okay. Multi use sculpting palette. Ooh, this looked interesting. I think I'm on the hunt for the perfect contour. I had one, but it was kind of expired, so I had to get rid of it. Wow, look at that. Say hello to the camera. And it's cream. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Again, unfortunately, the colors look so gosh darn warm. These are interesting. I don't know what they could be. It's almost like a foundation. Those are the three white colors. It says to apply the highlight shades for the under eye area, chin, bridge of the nose, and center forehead. Then use the contour shades to sculpt and follow the hollows of your face and hairline. I also like that you can mix and match them. Let's try the darker ones on my other hand. Wow, I mean, 
that's a dark shade. I'm glad to see that they have a color that is that deep. Interesting. This one might be a good contour tone for me if I mix it with a lighter color. Let's see what happens if I do that. And I want to mix this together. I think I'm going to really have to play with it and finesse it. They're very oily. Now, funny, this one lightened up to almost this color. I will play with it, and I'll let you know. It might be a lot of work for me. And, of course, the palette got completely fingerprinty as soon as I did anything. I will let you know, though. This seems interesting to me. Let me know if you guys have tried that. Maybe you got it in one of your boxes. I'm very curious. Okay, the next thing I got is... <laughs> It's from a company called Anthony, and it is it is kind cleansing water. Objective, give it to me easy. We'll leave that alone. What is my channel turning into? Solution, cleanse and tone in one simple step. Micelles capture and lift away dirt, oil, and impurities. Rose water. And witch hazel tone and soothe. It's in a plastic bottle. I really, I don't smell much. It almost has a slightly oily feel to it. Yeah, you know, I really don't smell rose. And I was very excited to see this because I've never tried it and I've always wanted to. It is the KVD Locket Powder Foundation. They had it on sale on Sephora as well, but you know that it was much cheaper on Boxy. Her packaging... I mean, I say a her because of all, I'm always going to associate it with Kat Von D. But it's beautiful. And look, there's the red on the back. I got it in the color light. The inside is red, and that's stunning. Even the little container here, not container, the cover is imprinted with KVD. There is the color. It comes with a sponge puff, but I want to run my finger in it first. I have not used a powder foundation and I can't tell you how long. There it is in my hand. I think the color will be good. Now I'm applying it with the, the thing here. Well, it looks like it's going to be nice. If you guys have ever tried this, let me know because I am so super curious. I cannot wait to give this a shot. And the last thing that I got is from Dry Bar. I just opened something from Dry Bar, but it is the Liquid Glass Miracle Soothing Sealant. That, that alone sounded like a fantasy to me. You're supposed to use it on damp hair. It says how to serve. That's really funny. For best results, do not apply any other pre-styling products. Begin with clean towel dried, detangled hair. Work in clean sections as opposed to dirty sections and spray generously from roots to ends, comb through evenly to distribute, to activate and seal in the formula bow, dry thoroughly, and finish with a flat iron. Well, I won't be blow drying my... Okay, that was people outside screaming. I don't know whether or not they're being murdered. Chances are, well, in my neighborhood, you never know. But chances are no. Anyway, I'm a little disappointed that you can't use it on wet hair, and I'm so leery of just using this. And I'm not blow drying my hair right now, which is what I was starting to say. Hmm, so I, I don't know, because if I blow dry my hair now, it's just gonna turn into a gigantic frizz ball. Maybe I'll try it, maybe I won't. I don't know. I'll try to let you know and give you an update as soon as possible sounded fabulous though because I I would like my hair to look like liquid class essentially well my amazing friends that is all she wrote that is the end yes I think I did pick up quite a bit of products not all at once and of course I have a few more of things coming I also have a little my little baby and I do mean little baby Sephora sale I think the only thing I got in the Sephora sale was maybe five products and then I picked up this palette that I'm wearing now which is the Patrick Ta the new one I don't remember the name I'll put it on the screen but I picked that up it was a rather small haul <laughs> for me anyway I do want to thank you guys so very much for going through these with me please let me know if you have picked up anything in the boxy drop shop did I get it right? Is that what it's called? Hopefully. 
I would love to hear about your purchases or whether or not you're on a no buy or just your comments on my things because I love talking to you guys and you guys are really important to me and I love you so so very much I hope you realize that anyway my friends if you're new here and you want to become part of this family that would be amazing join the fun my friends once again, I love you, and of course, whatever part of the world you're in on around, I hope you're having an amazing day. hope you're having an amazing night coming up, and I will see you really soon in my very next one. Bye!